What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I wanna cover several different factors that's gonna keep you from getting selected, all right? My hopes is that in sharing these factors with you, you'll take a closer look at yourself and see if any of these shortcomings apply to you and then do the best that you can to take care of them and neutralize them before you actually hit selection, all right? Guys, with that said, I survey over five different cadres that currently works out at selection, all right? These were the seven factors that they identify as keeping candidates from reaching their dreams of getting selected and moving on to the Q course and eventually getting to one of the operational groups. Guys, factor number one is VW, all right? Voluntarily withdrawing, all right? That means you bit the knee, you've had enough, you got the selection, SFAS kicked you in the balls and you just couldn't handle it, all right? Guys, if you quit, your dreams of being a Special Forces Green Beret is over, all right? Because once you voluntarily withdraw, you cannot then reapply to attend selection, okay? If you go all the way through and you're a 21-day non-select, then you have a potential of possibly resubmitting and attending selection again, all right? But if you bend the knee and you say you've had enough and you quit, guys, that is it. You can no longer attend selection ever, all right? So factor number one, guys, is guys that just flat out quit, right? While I was at selection, there were several guys that quit, you know, within the first week of being at selection, all right? That happened because their why wasn't strong enough, right? They weren't there for the right reason. I had two guys that were there because their units were getting ready to deploy and they didn't want to go in that deployment, right? So they came up with this plan to attend selection, all right, while their unit was getting ready to deploy, all right? Within the first week, both of those dudes quit, right? Because they realized like, hey, this suck fest isn't really worth missing a deployment over, right? So they quit, went back to their unit and went down range, right? There was another guy that was there because his unit was going down to JRTC and he didn't want to go down there, right? Guys, within week two, that dude was gone off. I urge you to know exactly what your why is, guys, because if you don't, right, once the going gets rough, you're going to be one of those dudes that quit. Factor number two that's going to keep you from getting selected, guys, is failing the APFT, right? Guys, the APFT is a must-pass event. It's conducted within the first two days of being at selection. If you right. fail that event, you can't go any further, guys. You're going home. So I urge you to make sure you can pass the physical standards if you're serious about going to selection. If I was right. you, I would get to the point where you can do 81 push-ups, 81 sit-ups, run your two miles in 13 minutes and six seconds, and be able to do six pull-ups. Factor number three, guys, that's gonna keep you from getting selected is peer evaluation and just flat out shitty leadership, right? Guys, during team week, you're gonna get peer evals towards the end of every mission, right? You're gonna have pinks and blues, right? Pinks means that you were shitty throughout your mission, right? And your teammates felt that you didn't perform too standard. Blues mean that you did an awesome job while you're in your leadership roles and everybody thinks highly of you, right? Those are gonna get added up, right? And throughout, team week, if every mission you get, you get a bunch of paints, cadres are gonna look at that and eventually they're gonna see that you don't have what they're looking for and you won't get selected because of that, guys. Factor number four that's gonna lead to you not getting selected is cheating slash integrity violation, right? Guys, while you're at land navigation, cadre is gonna tell you not to talk to other students, all right? They're gonna tell you not to navigate with your light on. They're gonna tell you not to cross the road, all right? Guys, they're telling you all that stuff for a reason, right? You are being assessed on your ability to do the right thing when other people are not around, okay? You're caught cheating and they give you a integrity violation, I can guarantee you right now, guys, you are not going to get selected, all right? Because you're basically telling the cadres that you cannot be trusted to operate on your own, all right? So guys, make sure, you know, if you have those tendencies prior to going to selection, make sure you work on yourself to discipline your mind and not cheat once you get to selection. Factor number five that's gonna keep you from getting selected is failing land navigation, all right? Guys, as Special Forces operators, we will go behind enemy lines and we are expected to operate discreetly, all right? If you can't find your way around enemy territory, all right, if you're supposed to go left and then you go right and you stumble upon the enemy and create this big international incident, that's not good, guys. 
So you have to demonstrate your ability to navigate not only its selection, but throughout the entire Q course, all right? So if you don't know what a backstop is, right? If you don't know what a tack point is, then you need to open up the manuals and get familiar with those terms and also get out in the woods and walk around to where you become real comfortable with navigating, all right? Factor number six, guys, is injury prevention. You can be in the best shape of your life for selection, right? You can be as prepared as anyone can be, all right? But as soon as you get hurt, then your selection dreams are over, guys. You can only push your body so much on a broken ankle, on a broken leg, you know, on a dislocated shoulder, so on and so forth, right? Guys, I urge you to take care of your body prior to going on all these events, okay? If you know you have a tendency to roll your ankles while rucking, hey, get an ace wrap and wrap your ankle, guys, right? Tape your knee. Do whatever you need to to provide your body that additional support so you can go uh, and crush all these events and not get hurt, guys. So if you're not familiar with the term injury prevention, I urge you to get really smart on it prior to attending selection so you can start selection and also finish it without getting hurt. Guys, last but not least is fact number seven, all right? And that's gonna be managing your subconscious mind. Guys, imagine yourself as a hot chick that's on Instagram or that's on Facebook, right? And your subconscious mind is that random dude on there sliding into your DM, sending you random messages, you know, days after days, minute after minute, hour after hour, right? Always, always hitting you up, you know? Uh, eventually, you're gonna get tired of that dude and you're gonna block him, right? Because you don't wanna keep getting bothered. You need to treat your mind the same way. You need to block it out, right? Because while you're at selection, right? Every little event that you go on, every, you know, task that you perform, that subconscious mind is gonna keep sending you text messages, right? He's gonna keep playing tricks on you. He's gonna tell you, hey, you're not as fast as you need to be. You're not as strong as you need to be. You're not as smart as you need to be, right? It's gonna keep messing with you till eventually you take control of it, right? Guys, I hope all this information was helpful and I hope it motivates you to put a packet together and get well on your way to your journey of attending selection, crushing that, attending the Q course, passing that and getting to an operational group so you can do bad shit to bad people, guys. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.